Secretary, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Cuellar. And I'll recognize Chairwoman Granger for any questions she may have. Mr. Secretary, right now, I would say that protecting our border has been a complete failure. And I've been there many times, and it's tragic. It is a tragedy. Right now, Customs and Borders has $2.8 billion remaining for the funds to complete the wall. $2.8 billion. A little more than $200 million of it will expire in the next few months. Are we just going to let that happen? All I hear is words. And see that border, it is, a, it is a crime. It is terrible what's happened there. So what's going to be real about this? Madam Chairwoman, as I, I mentioned to uh, Chairman <clears throat> Joyce, I have approved, I think it is approximately 129 projects uh, to close gaps and complete uh, the gapes, uh, gates uh, in the border wall. Uh, we believe that investing in personnel, investing in technology uh, is the way to best secure uh, the border. We are intensely focused on securing the southwest border, to securing <clears throat> all of the borders of the United States. We are uh, working day in and day out, and I must um, uh, commend the heroic work of the U.S. Border Patrol agents as well as the Office of Field Operations Officers of Customs and Border Protection and the support from throughout our department. I do not, I do not understate the seriousness of the challenge that we face. What's going to happen? And $200 million going to expire. You're going to let it expire? And if I may, uh, uh, Madam Chairwoman, the challenge that we face at our southern border, the challenge that we face is not exclusive to the United States. We are seeing an, um, uh, uh, an increase in migration around and across the entire hemisphere. Let me give, if I may, one example. Venezuela is a country with a population of approximately 28 million My people. My questions were on our southern Almost, Texas border. Yes, but this, this speaks to the issue. It speaks to the seriousness of the challenge that is gripping the entire hemisphere. Of those 28 million people, approximately 8 million have fled Venezuelan because of the authoritarian re repressive regime there. 2.5 million of those individuals are in Colombia. Uh, hundreds of thousands are moving to Chile. What we have done, and we announced on January 5th to address the challenge at the border, is we announced an innovative program that provides safe, orderly, and lawful pathways to come to the United States for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans, and delivers a consequence to individuals from those countries if they don't take advantage of those pathways and instead come to our southern border. We have seen a 95 percent, approximately Sir, 95 percent. That's not the question I asked. That's not the question I have. And I've asked this question over and over and over. We know what's happening. What is happening to our southern border? Texas changed dramatically. Other, other countries have come there. But it's pretty simple. And I said there's $2 million that's going to expire, having to do with the wall in a few months. That's pretty quick. Straightforward question. What's going to happen to it? It's going as, to go away? As I mentioned, Chairwoman uh, Granger, uh, we have <coughs> indeed, I uh, have indeed approved a number of projects, and we will comply with our legal obligations with respect to the funds provided for the wall. I pass. Thank you, Chairwoman Granger. Uh, I believe in a request, though, you said that you had 129 projects that you're going to expend the $200 million on. We'd like the copy of how that's going within 15 business days as well. Uh, this time, recognize um, Mr. Newhouse. 